Hey, what's going on, everyone? I'm back doing another Jokoji Fine Jewelry unboxing. Uh, it's going to be a little different than what I expected it to be because when the package got here, my wife wanted her chain. Um, I'll, if I remember, I'll throw in a picture of what she got, but previously she's had the one millimeter white gold Franco. She has the uh, plain Franco, the one millimeter Jokoji link for a uh, couple pennants she had. But she wanted a chain that she could wear on its own. And she doesn't like big chains. And she really did like the 1.2 millimeter rose gold Franco I got her, um, but that was too long. So I decided to get her the one and a half millimeter rose gold Franco, um, 18 inches. Uh, it falls just above her 18 inch white gold Franco. Um, that she wears with the pendant and it falls just above the other one too but it looks good because it's a little bit thicker and the chain hangs lower i'll try to remember to throw a picture in there of what it looks like so in her box it's not in there um, but i'll just go through what it looks like um you know it's a franco diamond cut one and a half millimeters 18 inches 6.6 .6 grams 14 karat rose gold packed by coral and then of course you get the pouch and then the stickers i'm gonna add this to the collection of boxes of course um, but then what i got i've been wrestling around with the same box it's the white gold and rose gold or white and rose gold i've been wrestling around with a bracelet to wear um i almost got a ring made but with the police academy and being limited on my availability really just the weekends uh getting something there in the week uh and not being able to wear this during the week it really kind of narrowed down my time and a ring would take too long so i decided to go with the mariner bracelet um i kind of debated what size to get um, and obviously from the title of the video, it's five and a half millimeters. I've had five and a half millimeter chains before. I've had seven millimeter. I've had four. I know that four for me, unless I'm stacking, is too small. I know that seven is okay. It does feel big on the wrist for me because I like more subtle chains. I like the five and a half millimeter Jacoji link or Jacoji curb. Um, so I got the five and a half. I do think the Mariner is a great link. I do tend to think it's better as a bracelet, just like a Figaro. Figaro is okay as a bracelet. I didn't even ever do the unboxing of that. I just posted a video of it and ended up selling it back for what I made or selling it back for what I paid for it um, because it's a better standalone chain. But I know that five and a half millimeters is pretty much a sweet spot because I'm not going to be able to wear this every day at work or the Academy. Um, so it's really an everyday bracelet that I can only wear sometimes. So it's Mariner, five and a half millimeters, eight inch, 9.1 grams, which is what it says online. 14 karat, packed by coral. Of course you get the patch and the sticker. And on anytime he does an shout out on instagram or even in videos he says this is the shiniest chain i kind of find that hard to believe based on how shiny the franco was and how shiny the flat curve is my wife's had this is her, her third franco i've had the uh i you know what, what the three millimeter franco um i've had four four and a half five and a half and seven millimeter flat curbs all of those shine so much so we'll see. It's very nice. I've had the four millimeter um, chain, which is funny because I always said I didn't really care for it as a chain, but I still needed to get it. And the weird thing about the Mariner is I don't really like flat links, although I don't really consider this flat because of how thick it is. But flat links, flat curves, Figaro's, Mariner's, stuff like that 
are not ideal for pendants. But I think if you were to wear a pendant on a flat link, the four millimeter Mariner was the best one. I tried it out and it actually looked really good. I got my dog coming up behind me. But this is very nice. I'm not going to worry about putting this on the scale or measuring it. At least not on video. At some point I might, just so I know what it actually uh, comes in at. But this is very nice. And I could tell it's going to fit just like I want it to. It actually might be a little bit too big, uh, too long. Um, because I do prefer the seven and a half for my wrist because I want it to be able to move but just enough. And it kills me when I watch people put on bracelets and videos because of how they do it. They always seem to be doing it a different way than I do. And yeah, this is perfect. I do think it's a little bit bigger than eight inches, just slightly. That's very nice. And of course, as usual, I'll get some video of it outside in natural light. But I think as far as a five and a half millimeter bracelet with a five and a half millimeter chain, the only thing you might say is the issue is the fact that this is so heavy and thick that even though it's on my neck and this is on my wrist, it overshadows this. I don't necessarily know if that's the case, but uh, you could maybe argue that I should have gone with the Yacht Link, which was on my mind. I thought about getting the five or six, uh, six point five millimeter. Six point five millimeter was sold out, and since this is five and a half, I didn't want to go five. And from what everybody said, the five is actually pretty much right on five. But I'm really happy with this. It is shiny. I don't know that I can agree that it's the shiniest chain. Um, it definitely shines. It's, you know, the uh, the nice yellow gold color, natural 14 karat gold color that you, that you get from the flat curb because they're the same manufacturer. <clears throat> and the reason you can tell is right here you have the Jokoji logo, which I don't know if you'll be able to see. Right here you have Italy. And then you have the 14 karat. And it's the exact same font as the flat curb. The jump ring is soldered. It has very good solder for the end caps with the last links. This is very nice. And it's one of those things that you could get this as a chain and it would look good with twenty two twenty four inches as well. I do think this is the ideal chain, but this would be really nice to have um I've been thinking about what I want to get for my next chain. Because what I'm doing now is I'm only buying stuff that I know my wife wants, that my son will like, and that I want. Which is why I still have this. Plus, this is very expensive. Um, I've always wanted this bracelet. I could see myself at some point maybe getting the 7mm. But if I did that, I would do something different other than sell this one. This would probably go to my son. Um... But again, I don't wear bracelets that often. Maybe this will get worn. I don't know. This might get worn. I'll probably wear it this weekend, but it's going to be more of a going out thing. And for some reason, I feel like if you're going to the beach or on a boat or something, wearing a bracelet is the ideal time to do it as well. But I want the Figaro chain, the five and a half millimeter Having that bracelet, I only had it for a few days, um, and the eight and a half was just too big for me. But it was very nice, um, and that one came out to six millimeters. Uh, so I'll probably end up getting the five and a half millimeter Figaro 
chain at some point. And I don't know if I'll two chain with this. Because this is just such a nice standalone chain. Um, so if I wore the Figaro, I'll probably just tuck this in and wear the Figaro out when I haven't decided yet. Um, but I'm, I'm definitely really happy with this. Again, subtle purchase for myself and my wife. But, um, yeah, I, I'm definitely feeling this. Anyway, I'm not going to take up too much time. Hope you all staying safe, taking care of yourselves. I'll see you next time.